Hello, I'm Eben from EZY Switchgear. Today we are going to talk about applications and specifications for Ringman units. The applications for Ringman units are vast and numerous. In the old days, you had to use huge switchgear to do the same that you can do with switchgear today. When we talk about SF6 switchgear, we get secondary switchgear, such as Ringman units, and primary switchgear for larger, higher fault level installations. So, when we talk about the specification of switchgear, you have to think about the following things. What is your voltage? If the voltage is between 11 kV or 6.6 .6 kV and 33 kV, you can use normal switchgear. When you have applications higher than that, you're going to use very specific high voltage switchgear. So make sure you understand what voltage is your switchgear rated at. The second thing is your load or your current. So for instance, one 200 amp breaker can carry a load of up to 4 MVA at 11 kV or 8 MVA at 22 kV. So if you, have, if you have a load larger than that, yes, then you can go to the higher ratings. But for anything lower than that, secondary switchgear would be great. The third thing you have to think about is the fault rating of your switchgear. The fault rating is determined by the transformer and how far you are located from the transformer. So in this instance, we have 21 kA and the switchgear right here is 25 kA. When you have a fault rating above that of 31.5 or more, then you go to primary switchgear. The fourth thing that you have to think about is your protection requirements. So in this case, we've got a VIP 400 protection relay. And the VIP 400 has got very specific functions that it can do. It can be powered or it can be self-powered. Self-powered meaning that it gets its power from the CT. When you have powered relays, such as one of the RF630, you have to use auxiliary power and a BTU. So to understand what your protection requirements are, you can save a lot of money or it can cost you tons more. Because a protection relay can cost between 5,000 and 60 or 120,000. So you have to be very careful when you select your protection requirements. The last thing is single line diagram. Your single line diagram will determine how many of the units you, uh, you have, which ones will be isolators and which ones will be breakers. If you understand the single line diagram of your system, you can make much smarter decisions, saving tons of money. If you need to learn more, Come and make contact with me. Come and see what we do. I'll teach you for free how to create your own single line diagrams and how to interpret them and how to save tons of money. Eben from EZY Switchgear.